super excited for Shazam, Fury of the Gods, the Shazam Mili. How, how does it how does it go? Shazamily. Shazamily. Is back. <laughs> and Mama Rosa. What do you have to say about Mama Rosa? Rosa is back with a uh, with force. She um is gonna find out a little secret about her kids in the sequel. And there's some angry goddesses trying to, you know, mess with my kids and Mama Rosa's not having it. So she's gonna she's gonna put up a fight with her kids. But the way she she finds out at the surprise, like so much turmoil. That was a hilarious scene, by the way. That really was a funny scene. <laughs> so many things happening. But I'm curious to know just the little bit you can share about one of the one of the favorite scenes where you're in and there's so much, it looks so magical towards the end. Um, what can you say about the experience of filming those things? Well, I'm, I'm just very blessed that I get to play Rosa again um, for the second time. And to have a lot more to do with my children in this sequel is, is, is a gift. And to really be able to, I think, share the most emotional, beautiful, heartfelt moment in the entire film is what... Mama Rosa says to Billy about having found a home forever. And the way she says it, the way it's written is so beautiful. And it's so, um, I think, powerful the, for all the children out there when the movie comes out that maybe don't come from a, a stable home, that maybe don't have a biological family that has been good to them. And to be seeing themselves portrayed in a movie of this size that gives so much hope to them is it's wonderful, you know, it's not just any superhero movie with spaceships and explosions and superheroes and special effects. That's all, all that stuff is great, but this is even more important and it goes on a deeper level. So I'm, I'm happy to be part of it. I feel like that's one of the secrets of Shazam is that it's very family oriented versus to the other su superhero films. I think so. I think the key to the success of our movie uh, in the first time around when we were, you know, number one in the world and everyone was like, oh, Shazam, like this little, little kind of like a known superhero character that all of a sudden got to people's hearts. And it got to people's hearts because of that, because he's a child who's trying to find his mom and he finds a family of like wonderful little kids from all walks of life that all come together and create this beautiful Shazamily and people gravitated towards that, which is why you see it much more um explored in a deeper way in the sequel it's it's wonderful to see I'm so excited and the comedy is hilarious uh we can talk about on the trailer it shows Shazam they're ready for a meeting um with a burger and fries so <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to know. But he's just trying to be so tough and then Helen Mirren who is so scary and and daunting and she's this beautiful goddess who is speaking with this very proper British accent and obviously you know Billy is terrified and was trying to keep a school and you know it's um it's beautifully written it's beautifully performed Zach is incredibly well cast in this role because he is that big kid with a huge heart and you see that so um, I think our casting director did a pretty sweet job with our movie. Martha, what superhero would you want to sit down and have a burger and fries with? Uh, Batman. Ooh, why? Oh, because I would love to drive his Batmobile. <laughs> I would have a burger and fries with him and then be like, okay, can you just order me dessert? And can I just take your car for a ride? That's oh, I thought it was going to turn into a date. <laughs> no, nah, uh, maybe, but uh, I'd rather just drive the car myself. I know you don't get to wear a cape yet, but I feel like you already wear a cape when it comes to languages. That's true. That's, I um I started early on in my life, and um I feel like it's a like a, like a little superpower maybe in real life, small. <laughs> I think few so. languages, few languages. Yes, mm -hmm. I can get by. Now my colleague spoke to you a while ago, and he said that um if you had a healing, you you would want the healing power. Yes, uh, I've been asked that many times and they're like, oh, you don't, you don't want to fly? And I say, no, I want to heal people, heal your family, they get sick, heal children that are suffering. I think that's the ultimate superpower. I agree, I agree. Well, thank you so much for your time. I, I, was, a, I was excited to talk to you. I came a slightly prepared for Yay, it. Yay, Shazam! <laughs> thank you for your support. Of course, thank you and felicidades. Gracias. Más éxitos.
Muchas gracias, un besito.